Good morning. Um, I am just uh, really excited about what's getting ready to happen here. Um, I started at Diddy as a student in 1989, and I had uh, Miss Guillory, oh, I thought I saw her a few minutes ago, and uh, Miss Burroughs, Mr. Dugan, all those guys um, as my teachers when I came here. And what I found at Denny was just a really supportive um, environment, a place for me. Uh, I came here from E.C. Hughes. I don't know, some of you probably went to E.C. Hughes too. Um, E.C. Hughes was, we were in the last group that was fifth graders at E.C. Hughes before they stopped doing sixth grade. So when we came here, we were the first group of um, sixth graders that were here. At the time, we were referred to as the class from, you know, the hot place because um, we were, I guess, just more than they expected. But when I came to Denny, we had a really supportive network of teachers who really made sure to take care of the students that were here. Ms. Trowbridge was at E.C. Hughes before, um, and she came to Denny uh, when we uh, came over with our group. And she was never my teacher, but she saw that I had a need. My grandma died when I was in fifth grade, and my family went all kinds of crazy at that time. And Ms. Trowbridge, she saw that I had a potential to do something with my life, and she made sure that the, student, the teachers that I encountered here saw that and that they did something with that. And so all the way through middle school and then on to high school, um, I didn't find the same support at high school that I had when I was in middle school. Not the same. There was some, but it wasn't the same, and I kept coming back to the middle school and getting the support. Ms. Trowbridge kept buying me school supplies all the way through high school. She kept saying, oh, child, you need this. I always started with child. She never used my name, just child this, child that, but she always made sure that whatever it was, um, that it was taken care of. And when it came time to go to college, it was Ms. Trowbridge and those uh, people that I encountered in middle school who made sure I knew how to uh, apply to college, how to fill out applications um, for financial aid. And so, that aspect of Denny is something that's unchanged. Having come here, I didn't come here because I wanted a job. I came to visit those guys and they were like, oh, you must have heard about the job. And I was like, you know, I, I want to teach high school. And so then the phone call network started. They kept calling me over and over again, day after day, come take this job. And so I ended up coming to middle school where I didn't want to be. And, uh, and then found that I really liked middle school and we started doing a lot of high school things. We started taking a lot of trips and we started a marching band. And, um, but that support that I found as a student here is still here. Um, Ms. White brings that, I bring that. Um, there are numerous teachers, Ms. Trovers just got here so I gotta stop talking about her. But uh, they, uh, that supporting network is still here. It's everything that we have tried to do um, in the time that I've been here teaching for nine years is just about making a nest for kids so that nobody falls out. And that thing is not dependent on these walls. So although I have a lot of you know, sentimental attachment to you know, this kitchen and I have a lot of sentimental attachment to the band room, I'm happy to walk away from that because I know that the essence of what this place is about is going to go to a place that's going to make sure that when the kid goes to high school that they don't feel like that support is not there. That that support is right there because of the relationship that is going to be built between the middle and the high school so that nobody falls through the cracks. So I'm really excited. and. The kid whose pants didn't quite fit right from the high school. Uh, I'm excited about building those bridges where high schoolers are helping the middle schoolers. And uh, it's just really exciting for me. And so I'm glad to be here to say goodbye to this building. And uh, I'm glad to know that the essence of what this building represented is going to be in a new building that's going to meet the needs of every student. Thank you.